this illusion is called to find its fleeting. Illusions are what I call my paintings, as I'm scarred by illusion, it's only fitting. Although, this painting really epitomizes the illusion. Just from the concept, there is a bit of literal illusion. This painting concept piggybacks off my last painting, Escape, which is also my previous video. Not to beseech you to watch it, or subscribe, and leave a comment or like, but I recommend you watch my last video to see how it inspired this painting. The hand is the frame slash lens of the figure, while the figure is observing itself with detachment to the lens of the viewer. The suggestion from the hand of the lens is that the figure is represented by what it does or makes, and it's implied the lens is made by the figure. Just a little breakdown of it because there's a lot to unpack. If you don't like art to be explained, <laughs> the remainder of this video isn't for you, but my art is personal. I'm finding more and more every day in ways I didn't expect or wasn't completely aware of. This self-analyzing to me is crucial for growth and I've grown and explored a lot within myself in a short time. This is becoming the second part to my the 20 paintings I made in 17 days video, seeing as how this is another 20 page canvas paper pad and this is painting 12. Every time I think I've thought of everything, I think of a new thing, another thing or a way to outdo myself, which is a good problem to have. And although this concept was so new and different, it wasn't one I was necessarily eager to turn into a painting, but I did anyway. I conceptualized it yesterday and sketched on the canvas to ensure that I painted it today. I often do that almost every time when I think about it. I do that because I feel I have to seize the feelings of the concepts while they're fresh. So I painted this one before I painted the one I really wanted to paint, the one I was really enchanted by. I think I was put off by the mood of this piece. I've been in rare form, oddly leapy. Not depression, <laughs> in case you were worried, don't worry. Um, I can't be depressed, as I've been told before, and as I've come to understand, I'm too functional to be depressed. I've been suggested to have um, dysthymia, but I don't really think that fits me either, so I mean, I naturally think I might have a melancholic, a melancholy disposition, but I really feel it is permeating me now, very strong for some reason. When I think it's uncalled for, my art is at its most creative, an upswing of ideas and inspiration has come to me. I couldn't really ask for more, and I'm very grateful, I'm very thankful, and the fact that I've been able to document it with these videos is also wonderful. However, to elaborate on the title, I've been in similar sorts, uh, similar sorts of bursts of creativity before, and they come and go so quickly. While I'm consistently creative, the bursts are, they feel, lots of feeling, they feel like minutes, and I forget that they ever occurred because I'm in such a fever of making things. That's what inspired me to post the anniversary video of that um, picture book I wrote and illustrated. Knights, Knots, Ribbons, and Bows, Tea with Ghosts. That was from one of those episodes. <laughs> I'm not bipolar, but that's what, I, I mean, that's what I'm going to call them, because that's what they are. If you're one of those people who thinks that people should celebrate themselves and their achievements, then maybe you'll get what I mean when I say I don't. I don't at all. While every painting is an achievement, I never really grasp what it means that I've done it, you know, and the technique I do. Especially, it, it's, uh, I don't know, I don't. I don't know that it's that special, like, there's anything that special about it. I think a lot of times when I look at things, like, anybody could paint that, anybody could do that, but I'm like, are they doing that? And I'm like, I'm doing it, so I should appreciate that. Um, but I, 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 I don't know how to show myself gratitude and appreciate myself, except to continue to work, because that's what I like to do. Occasionally a thing will stand out to me, but it doesn't stay with me long at all.
in some instances, I think other people feel more strongly about my work than I do. Almost like I'm jaded to it. So this painting is meant to reflect that to myself and others. I don't take it for granted. I'm appreciating it in myself the only way I know how, and that is going to continue to use art to reflect me, however ephemeral. And I can't forget the palmistry implication of this painting either. No base for the roots, a hole in the palm, an illusory world. I'd say a floating world, but that's memoirs of a geisha in Japan. Um, I dabble in palmistry. I don't care what people think of it. I swear new lines pop up in my hands every year. Something's really afoot there. Besides that, the lines are different on each hand. Your non-dominant hand is your subconscious, or what God gives you, while your dominant hand is what you've done with it. What you've done with what you've been given, I mean. And my palmistry book cross-correlates things to astrology and numerology, so it's full circle in the end. I almost forgot. It's my left hand, too, that I painted, or at least I think. And my left hand has the tattoo that I did on myself, ex nihilo, ugh, ex nihilo, which is Latin for out of nothing. So it really is a very full circle for a whole to be there in my end, life. So maybe this is a despondent painting, a grieving painting. And this came together rather quickly. I didn't have, I, I did have the brush get away from me here and there. And oddly, I overlooked the foot that she was poking out from behind the outstretched arm. I almost went back and fixed it, then I changed my mind, because it's easy to overlook, from the untrained eye at least, and I doubt anyone will see it. Not just like the untrained eye. Um, perhaps the impersonal eye? Just saying. Anyway, if you take anything away from this video, it is art, truly art, and art goes on, so I will in my next video. Thank you for watching the end, if you did. Otherwise, I'm just... Throwing, throwing things under the wood.